Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love never ends. And now faith, hope, and love abide. These three, and the greatest of these, is love. Audrey, I can't believe it's been nine years. We have been through so much together, from traveling the world, to jumping out of an airplane, to skiing the Alps and the Rockies. We've had so many memories together. You know, look how quickly time has flown by. In that amount of time, we've created the most magical memories and have grown stronger in our relationship. Within those nine years, we learned more about each other, both independently and together. We grew our families closer. We created new friendships and made our old ones even stronger. And finally, we welcomed our fur baby, Ralphie. As we've been talking about, family is very important. And I'm so happy to have you in my family and to be part of yours. I feel very, very comfortable. He also taught us a lot about each other and how love is always a work in progress. We have learned compromise and sacrifice and have taken the first step to starting our own family. Odd, you truly are the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm sure everyone in this room can attest to that. You're my second sister I never knew I needed. So fun, so sweet, so sassy. You are clearly so unbelievably stunning on the outside, but even more beautiful on the inside. I'm so happy Audrey and Neil found each other. Neil, you're such an incredible guy, caring, respectful, fun, intelligent, good at golf, excellent skier. All the attributes I want the husband and my daughter. And it's obvious how much you love Audrey, which is the most important attribute. Hi, Neil. Take you, Audrey to be my wife. I, Audrey, take you, Neil, to be my husband. Audrey, I vow to put you and our family first. I vow to listen and help you with anything you need. I vow to continue to be your adventure mate and travel the world and see new places. I vow to continue to work on our relationship and not let it become complacent. I will support you on all your endeavors with all my love and compassion. I will be your cheerleader on all your successes and your shoulder when times are tough. And I promise to work on my travel anxiety as I know I'm a little impatient. Neil, I vow to make time a priority. Whether it's attempting to slow it down or making every hour, minute, and second last longer than the next, I vow to cherish and take in all of our time together. I vow to take more time loving and learning from you. Most importantly, I vow to work hard for our love and never take it for granted. To continue to grow together as my second half soulmate, best friend, and now husband. I want to welcome everyone here today to the John Denver Sanctuary in Aspen to celebrate this momentous occasion. It's been a long time in the making, and we are all incredibly lucky to be here together, sharing in this experience in this beautiful place with this beautiful couple, Audrey and Neil. Audrey, I gave you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Neil. 
I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you. And with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you. Now that Neil and Audrey have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may now kiss the bride. I'm so happy to know that my best friend is in the hands of the most genuine, caring, loving, hilarious, and of course, super handsome man. Which brings us to Neil. You have won the heart of an incredible girl, but you obviously know that because you are marrying her. Razor glasses. To Audrey and Neil and this incredible journey they're going to have ahead of them, I'm so happy for you too. I can't wait to experience this with you. I love you both. One day between his chair and her chair, there's a high chair. Neil's always been the person who had all the ability, all the brains, all the looks, all the personality, but he always sometimes lacked that motivation. And he said it today, uh, multiple people have said it, Audrey has always been that. From that point on, every single one of Neil's goals revolved around Audrey. She made him want to be the best version of himself. And that was the moment I knew that Audrey was perfect for Neil. Audrey, you are beautiful, intelligent, goofy, and most of all, magnetic. You make life fun and easy, and I'm so lucky to have stepped on your toes nine years ago. Neil, standing with you today by my side is one of the happiest moments of my life. Audrey, you are my one. You are my motivation. You are my drive. You are what keeps me going. I love you. I love you so much, and I'm so happy I get to call you my forever. <laughs> <laughs>